The 1980s were difficult times for Russian leader Mikhail Gorbachev, who was trying to hold together the Soviet Union and maintain the Communist Party's commanding role. At the same time, a series of disasters couldn't hide the fact that the country's infrastructure was old and dangerous. One of these disasters happened on June 4, 1989. Two Russian passenger trains with hundreds of people on board were passing one another near the city of Ufa, close to the Ural Mountains. When they met an extremely flammable cloud of gas leaking from a nearby pipeline, sparks released by their passing blew both trains to pieces. Seven carriages were reduced to dust. While 37 more were destroyed, along with the engines. More than 500 people perished, many of whom were children returning from a holiday on the Black Sea. The force of the explosion was estimated to be similar to 10 kilotons of TNT, which nearly equaled that of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The fireball formed was 1.6 kilometers 1 mile long and destroyed all trees in a 4 kilometer 2.4 miles radius. The pipeline going along the rail lines was full of propane, butane, and hydrocarbons. And the pressure within was high enough to keep it in a liquid state. On the morning of June 4, a drop in pressure was observed, but instead of checking it out, the people in charge increased the pressure. Consequently, clouds of heavier-than-air propane formed and left the pipe traveling along the rails. All they needed was a spark. As with many disasters, the Ufa train explosion happened because finishing something quickly at minimal cost was more important than long-term consequences. The pipeline had more than 50 leaks in three years. And the Soviet Ministry of Petroleum didn't want to admit their negligence. Worse, railway traffic controllers didn't have the authority to halt trains on the Trans-Siberian Railway. Even if they smelled gas, 